When you have a token economy, you can often start off with something with a bonus. Why would you start off with a bonus? Let me explain this in a minute here. Just bear with me, all right? So the word here, the term here is bonus response cost. So imagine if you're trying to engage in response cost as part of a token economy. Remember, response cost is the uh, response is going to cost you something. It's negative punishment. So if you're in a token economy and you engage in a response, if you give me your little tokens, Billy, because he was little Billy was out of line. Well, guess what? If little Billy hadn't earned any tokens, he's got nothing to give you. Therefore, it's not going to have any effect on the behavior. So you start off with a bonus, right? So little Billy, here are 25 tokens. This is how you start the program, right? So now little Billy's starting his token economy. And if he engages in inappropriate behavior, you got something to take away. So you start off with a bonus. My teachers used to do this with me with little tick marks on the board. They would put five tick marks on the board. And if the class, it was a group contingency. So if the class, we were getting out of line, somebody in the class got, did something inappropriate, they'd erase one of those tick marks. Somebody else did something, they'd erase them again. If all of those ended up gone, y'all was in trouble. And I mean big trouble. You lost something like recess or she just beat you with a stick. Um, um, not really, but anyway, um, you might have. I can't really tell you. That's why I sit here like this all the time. I'm afraid of sticks. Anyway, so bonus response costs. You give the people a bonus just so you can take it away if need be. Um, because if you take away something they don't have, it doesn't make any sense. You can't do it. You lose the power right, of the response cost. So we want to make sure response cost is effective. Make sure they have reinforcers or tokens that you can take away from it.